<laughs> Seriously though. <laughs> No, mostly at yeah, well, that's at, actually at, true. Though. At like the rec, does, the yeah. rec, um, uh, um, it's like a bar and restaurant. We, it's, I personally hate it. I mean, also I'm like with a lady or something, you know, I'm fine. But like me, just going there, it's like, I don't know. Unless it's um like like dubstep, I like dubstep, um, the heavy beats, like yeah. the really heavy stuff. Um, and uh, there's this song, um, uh, I forgot. I forgot who um, uh, who 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 sings it. Um, or it, it uh, like 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 maybe getting a Korg using you know a Korg like a Korg mm -hmm. machine. You know I use that. That's pretty cool. I don't use it anymore since I, I'm I'm pretty much into piano music now. But um, you know doing that and doing heavy dubstep beats like that that really interests me. You know and if do you think you guys do that or. Um, yeah, actually, um, we're working on like a more club song to like we could actually do like here in Tucson and stuff locally um, to actually perform it and stuff. Um, you know, we would definitely like to broaden things out musically and, you know, experiment with other places as well. But I mean, most of all, I think that music's all about having fun and having a good time. Yeah, and man. I think that, yeah. you know, whether it's dubstep, hip hop or, you know, the acts that we have today, like Russ and yeah. Gary and everything, I mean, I think that that's what makes Tucson a really um, good community for music. Yeah. Um, is because that we can all come together, like Open Mic Sky Bar. I mean, I've seen several different acts there where, you know, whether it's a uh, acoustic act or if it's a hip hop act or whatever, I mean, we all appreciate each other. So I think that that's like what brings people together. And I think I that's know. what music's about. Yeah, even I, I saw like a, a, a Sither, which is like that long tube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend Matt, and um, um, yeah, he. Um, he did that at Maker House, and um, it basically it it produces this like echoing noise. <laughs> Mixing that with dubstep Korg, you know, Korg machine, that would be interesting. You that know would I mean? that would be crazy, but I bet in Tucson that would be the place to do it. <laughs> no, that, <laughs> we I, would. Be, yeah, I think hip hop is going more of uh, well, uh, hip hop and rap. I don't know. Is is that is that pretty much the same thing? Well. well I mean, I guess like you could call it whatever, you know, a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people um, have their own views on genres and stuff and categorizing things. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, hip hop's going to, you know, definitely, I mean, hip hop and rap, I mean, rapping is just what they do when they're, when they're making hip hop music. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So because hip hop in itself is just to, you know, like dance music, but people rap what, when they're making a hip hop song, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So that makes sense. So yeah, hip hop, you know, dubstep. Uh, Korg machine Sither, yeah, but I'm I'm hearing that like more um, on the radio, like that. that yeah, that's true. That song that's in my true. mind, like, um, uh, give up for what or something. It was something like that where it's like, this is black guy sings like you know, um, uh, I think it's like give up for what, and then you have this crazy dubstep. Oh yeah. Some Korg. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the beats. Yeah, exactly. If that's what's that's where that's where it's kinda heading in like it main, is. It is. mainstream music is heading in. It is, in that yeah. And I, I see that, you know, you see that. You know, but I don't know if you guys I, I think I think <laughs> you guys that's listen my, to the, that <laughs> might be something that's been going on for a long time, you know, because back yeah. in you know, seventies and stuff like that, the disco era and stuff, I mean that could be considered techno nowadays. I mean you know what I mean? Like yeah. the disco era and you know, like disc jockeys and stuff, that started so long ago that yeah. I think that now it's just evolutionized because of the music equipment that we have access to, but uh -huh. I think that, you know, it's definitely been around for a long time. It just, it wasn't that heavy, I think. Like right yeah. now, it's it's so, it's getting heavier, and I, I love that, dude. Like when yeah. I heard the heavy dubstep, you know, I want to work out to that. I want to hear that in the club. Um, you know, in, in like the rack where it's mainly dancing, dude. They're, they're, yeah, and uh, there there's a DJ at um uh, the hut, you know, the hut right yeah. here in Tucson, and it, you know, I want like they're playing kind of like weak stuff, and I don't, I hate that. I hate when when they play like, just no one, no one, you know, no one recognizes it. When someone puts on like maybe like Kanye West or Jay Z, everyone's like Kanye West, Jay Z. Okay. Yeah. With dubstep, you know, people they don't know, you know, who's pretty much, uh, like, you know, the the artist because there's no, it's just music, and there's some vocals, so it's like we like it, you know, but who's doing it? But but yeah, man, we we can agree, you know, yeah. and uh, and it's getting heavier hip hop. Yeah. Yeah, and I absolutely, I like that. We like that. We all like that, right? 
Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the 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 older guys. It's like, it's like you know, give me some wine and uh. I should have I should have gave you a better intro and more funky because I know you played soul, but that's a rocker. I would have played some soul, you know. <laughs> I mean, all right, so, and you're, okay, we're going to have the next guest up, and you're going to do, um, uh, uh, what was that song? Um, actually, I, I made a, I made a list, and, um, what was it, um, Get Lucky, right, with, um, with, what, what's that called? At the end, though, at the end. Oh, at the end? Yeah, oh, at okay. the end, we're going to have, you know, hopefully all of us in the group audience, yeah, so, F, yeah, F, F yeah, yeah. After the, sh you know, five minutes, uh, you know, to the end of the show, we're gonna have a group hug, and if you can play "Get Lucky" with Def Punk, while the group hug is going on. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. If you know, if everyone you know wants to participate, if not, you know, whoever wants to. <laughs> I know Inga was saying, well, she doesn't even wanna. She's she's the the computer. Um, so do you want me to bring the next monitor? Guest? Russ, if you can bring our next guest in, who is. Um, Oh yeah, and 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 Bobby, um, you know if um, I mean we we, we kind of got your your history. Your your main thing is vocals, though, right? You were telling me at a sky bar. Uh yeah, like primarily, I mean I mainly do vocals. Yeah. Um, that's like my my forte, or whatever. That that's your first main thing that that you um uh what is it called that you focus on, and then it's you know the the electric guitar. Yeah. Right. Um, vocals definitely came first. Um. And then I realized that yeah, if you can it's quite difficult to uh, do vocals just by themselves without, you know, doing any, like any other instrument behind it. So I figured I'd pick up the guitar and start learning how to play guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I, I personally like vocals, like what, what you know, and I know we're, we're going over time, but Queen, uh, uh, Freddie Mercury, like his uh, sh um, Show Must Go On, for example, or... or um, uh, uh, well, yeah, show must go on. I mean, that's that's pretty much the the a really great vocal by uh, by Freddie Mercury, and uh, I'm sure you know. I'm sure yeah. you know that. Um, and um, so yeah, man. Uh, if if you can be, you know, uh, on on the next show, BLDS show four with um, uh, Gorilla Fist. Yeah, your your group, man. Our group, and, yeah. We, and Bobby Ray and the Gorilla Fist. We'll we'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah, dude, and and um, you know, hopefully, I'll I'll give you um, you know a, a link to the show, and um, you know, you can show the group, show the guys, and um, uh, yeah, and bring them. You know, they're gonna have instruments, right? And they're gonna do hip hop. Yeah, you know, we're gonna do you. a little, a okay. little, a little uh, Tucson hip hop kind of a thing, and uh, maybe play mm -hmm. some play some uh, music too, and uh, everybody just kind of have fun together, you know. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. <laughs> it's all about fun and yeah i mean what what you did now with, with drake that that's interesting that's that's awesome you know to me that's i love drake he's he's a literally a, a genius a creative genius as kanye west says it so <laughs> all right man um all right, well, thanks for having we me. we are gonna have the next guest up thanks bobby the next guest we're gonna have uh gary who um i saw at maker house Great open mic place, and Russ is going to lead us in. He's going to lead us in. Yeah, we got to get another. Oh, we can get another. Get another mic in. Well, give me that. Use board and put board. I know with the mic. Um, I think I think it like it'll. We can hear probably just the guitar. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, let's just do it that way because it's it's yeah the mics are, are up enough so. Come on, Gary. Let's. We, we're we're ready for you, man. Um, I'm bringing you in, brother. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. All right, man. Um, working class hero. Of course, he has a John Lennon shirt on. That's why they play him John Lennon. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I love working class hero John Lennon. Is that a working you class hero or no? Uh, well, it New York City. No, New man. New York City. Well, yeah, this guy, um, uh, Maker House. I didn't. I thought you know he's gonna he's gonna do like Willie Nelson or I don't even know who that is. He's gonna do something you know, and he goes up. And I'm like, that is that is John Lennon's working class hero. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I couldn't believe it. That's like my favorite John Lennon CD, um, next to like Imagine, of course. His um, first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah Imagine. His first solo album. The Working Class Hero? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. But, you know, it, it, it pretty much, um, I got that CD from the library, didn't really just know what to expect. I loved it. And so, yeah, man. So um, if you can, uh, if you can just you know, um, bring us in with um, working class hero. We'll do that. Yeah, man. The edited version. Yeah, the edited version without the um, the language issues. Right, without the language. Without all the right. language. Without the language issues. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You ready? Yes, I'm ready, uh, man. I, I'm ready for. Uh, Working class hero. Soon as you're born, they make you feel small. By giving you no time instead of love. Yeah, the pain is so big you feel nothing. Working class hero is something to be. Working class hero is something to be. Did they hit you at home? Did they beat you at school? Did they hate you if you're clever? Despise a fool. You're so freaking crazy you can't follow their rule. A working class hero is something to be. A working class hero is something to be. If they tortured and scared you all 20 are here. Then they expect you to pick a career But you can't really function, you're so full of fear Well, a working class hero is something to be Or a number in the numbers of a penitentiary Dope with religion, porn and TV. And we think we're so clever, classless and free. But we're just frickin' numbers as far as I can see. Please enter your last four digits of your social security number. And please follow it up with your four-digit pin. A working class hero is something to be Or a number in the numbers of a penitentiary They hit you at home, they hit you at school And who could expect you to turn out such a fool Really function because there ain't no real school. A working class hero is something to be, or a number in the numbers of a penitentiary. If there's room at the top, they are telling you still. 
First you must prove you can smile as you kill If you want to be 